<clears throat> uh, let's go check the greenhouse. I have got to get started on my cherry tomatoes. I have some in here, some in there. I know I got some out there in the garden. It's not as hot today. It's 91 in here. Everything in here is doing good though. Soft now we're going on a trip soon and I'm going to see if I can find some tropicals when we go. I am really enjoying these things. Just from the time, just from the little time I've had this thing in here, it has started growing so many little pictures all over it. I mean that you can tell the difference in size just from 24 hours. You get up in the morning and there's a new pitcher. It's grown. They wrap around the other leaves. They're so interesting. It's really cool to watch something grow that quickly. I really need to find some pretty pots to put some of these in. It's gonna start cooling off a little bit. It'll be a nice time to come down here and do some repotting in here and doing some things that I need to in the greenhouse. I'll have more time since I'm not gonna be engulfed with the garden like I have been. Go do the beans, give them some water. Well, I can definitely tell it's been a day or two since I've picked these cherries. Actually, I skipped one day, so it fills up when I do that. should have a good amount for dehydrating today. I gotta get another bucket. That other one's not gonna work. Overflowing. done for now. All right, let's go wash them up and put them in the dehydrator. That's what I do these days. Dehydrating time. Getting pretty addicted to this. I like doing it. I've been using the little mats on my dehydrator, but I'm going to try it without it this time and see how they do. But I'm just going to take the little tops off these, cut them in half, and lay them on here. I got a fair amount of stuff going on in here. All these are full. Well, I had a late supper that my husband cooked. I was in bed with a cluster migraine. Those things are awful. They're just like the devil. They're just like an ice pick through your brain. It hurts so bad. I've had them for like at least 15 years. They come like every year, every year and a half. A certain time of year, normally it's 
around this time of year. Um, and sometimes they can be like in February. That's the last round I had. But when they come, they're like six weeks long. And they're just in cycles. Everything about them is cycles. They, they happen the same time every day. They will wake me up out of my sleep. They're just miserable. I mean, that's all I can say about them. They, there's nothing you can take to make them go away. There's nothing you can do when you have them. You can, I mean, you don't even want to breathe. You just don't want to move. It hurts to think. All I can do is lay there and cry. And <laughs> it hurts to cry and puke. Well, I've had them for a couple weeks now, so maybe in another month I'll be starting to feel them ease off. They they come from like a distant pain. And so they build. And they build at their worst. They're just indescribable. I mean, I'd rather have a baby. They hurt that bad. And then they'll just fade away. They're very weird. They're just a strange phenomenon. I don't know. I don't know what causes them and what causes them to be very, what causes them to be in cycles like that. Very rhythmic. Well, I kind of blew my evening, so it's really dark here. It's really dark. When I first got up, I was like, how long about was I? I felt I only fell asleep. They just wear me out, and then I'm in like in a fog when they're over. And I woke up and it was dark. It's like 7:40, and it's dark just because it looks like it's gonna rain or or my head's just in some kind of dark zone. I don't know. Okay, well, I made it through. I may walk outside. I don't know. The jar flies, though. They're so loud right now. It sounds like fireworks in my head. So, I may just hang out inside the rest of the evening. I don't know. Well, I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to go outside for a few minutes. My husband's out here. I don't know what he's doing. Let's see what he's doing. I think he's down at the woodshed. He bought some wood. He wants to finish it, so we're done with most of our other projects, other than putting my pellet stove in the greenhouse, which is not going to take very long. He says a couple hours. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't run into any issues, or anything like that. I'm sorry I'm talking so low. It's just. Oh, yeah, my head, so. What are you doing? Cut me a tube for My head ain't right. I mean, not that it's ever been, but. I haven't cut it too before. Look at that piece of bamboo. We went and got one from my neighbor's yard. I used it to stake up my sunflower. It's massive. They always come in good use though. I love those things. <laughs> use them in here to make supports and stuff for my tomato plants. And they work really good. I'm gonna go before too long and get some cattle panels and I'm going to make some trellises. I may do that this week or next week. I don't want my beans to get too big on me before I decide to go do it. I thought my zinnias were done, but we had like a hurricane rains come through and after I went out, after the rains had left, I went out and come back down here and a bunch of new zinnias were opened up pretty. 
Not as pretty as they were in the spring, but I'll take it. I'm gonna get eggs. Do it down the hill. Yesterday we only had. I don't remember. I can't remember. I was thinking there'd be three eggs. Um, they're taking a break. I had the leghorn. Miss Queenie. She's been broody. So I went in and closed the inside of the coop, the little hen door, so she could, and I made her go out into the run, made her stay there all day, let her go back inside, and then I went down here late at night, about the time they roost, just late, they stay up late. So it was around nine o'clock, and I um, opened it up, they all went in, and then the next day, she was out in the run. Let's see if she's, let's see if she's in here. I honestly have not been down here today. I went to church. I did some things inside. I did work up in my greenhouse and stuff in my garden area, but I did not come down here. So she might be in here. No. Oh my, and there's no eggs at all. Well, that's a little odd. No eggs. Let's make sure there's not any inside the coop. Weird. A little unusual. Oh, she is in that corner. Well, I don't really have my coop shoes on. Did not expect to go in here. But I need to go investigate. <laughs> I didn't bring gloves either. She is not going to be happy with me and what I'm going to do. Let's get a little rake. I really don't want to be attacked. Hmm. I mean, even if she's sitting on all the eggs, how on earth did she get them down there? Because I know those other ones don't lay down there. Let's look. All right, sister, you gonna have to get up because I ain't playing this game. I'm really not. What are you doing? Get up. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, well. Goodness gracious. I do not want chicks. I do not want baby chicks. Well, I guess I'll get them from her. Craziness. Well, I'm going to have to go get a bucket because there's a bunch of them in there. And I can't carry them up the hill, and I might need some gloves, too, because she'll probably attack me when I go in to get them. So, I'll be back. Alright. Do this. Wow. A whole bunch of eggs she was sitting on. Well, that's the verdict. That's what she was sitting on. We're actually under the pond shavings. The dig in a hole. Look how many eggs she was sitting on. They were under the pond shavings, like in a hole. So, I mean, this is like several days worth of eggs. Yeah, I thought it was weird when I was like, one egg? That's very unusual. Yeah, I hope they're not, not, like, not laying in the nesting box now and starting to lay in the floor. Unless she's just knocking them out and rolling them over there. Good grief.